What's up guys, Jorge Contreras here, also known as Jorge the Mentor, and in this short video, I am gonna share with you how I was able to buy my first real estate property in 2012 with just the money that I saved in taxes from going employee to entrepreneur. Now, my last job when I was 20 years old, that's when I had my last job, I'm 30 today, 10 years ago, was at Bank of America. Had a great income for my age, I was, had a position that people in their 40s and 50s were, and you know, with families, large families with kids had, and I was 20 years old here, single, no kids, making the same amount of money. Now, and you know, that's because I had sales experience and I was just a beast at sales, you know? But anyway, with the money that, I, you know, as an employee with my income at the time, I never saw my entire paycheck because they're like, hey, Jorge, yeah, you're gonna be generating X, Y, Z, but guess what? When I got my paycheck, it was only half of that and I was like, hmm, you know? So I was like, where's the other half? And that's when I learned, you know, how Uncle Sam takes half your money before you ever get your paycheck. So anyway, as an employee, by the way, I highly recommend uh, to read uh, Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki because it talks about the employee, self-employed, business owner, and investor and how the employee pays about 40 to 60% in taxes, self-employed about 60%, business owner about 20%, and investor about 0%, which is why you see why people like Warren Buffett, you know, Steve Jobs when he was alive, and Donald Trump pays zero dollars in taxes and they're making billions. And they're doing it because they're doing everything by the book exactly how the IRS wants you to do, which is by providing jobs and they give you incentives, write-offs, and deductions that you don't get if you're not an, uh, a business owner, that you don't get it um, as an employee, but only as a business owner. So, in short, when I went from employee and started my own business just with the money that I saved in taxes, which was well over $10,000. Actually, I think it was over $20,000. Just with that money alone, I was able to put my first down payment. The down payment on my first property in 2012 was $8,200. It was a three and a half FHA mortgage loan. And so again, I felt like you know, I started making the same amount of money after a couple years in, in business, uh, maybe after two years. And then that's when I realized, I was like, wow, I can keep so much more of the money that I make because I became an entrepreneur. And as an employee, again, if let's just say, so for example, right now, today is uh, July 10th, 2018. And if you get a paycheck today as an employee, guess what? They take out the taxes and you get what's left, right? As a business owner, if people buy my online courses, one of my products, or I do an, uh, a redevelopment project with my real estate business, guess what? I don't pay taxes. If I get paid today, I don't pay taxes right now like you do as an employee. I pay them next year in 2019, which means I can essentially borrow all that money at 0% interest. That's freaking cool. Not only that, but I get to uh, spend it by justifying it and using it for business expenses and really anything that you can justify. And then at the end in 2019, I'll, I will pay taxes on whatever money is left. And you know, I have a good accountant that's been with me since day one. And so they allowed me to basically keep a lot more of the money that I generated because I went entrepreneur. And so again, that's how I was able to buy my first property. I put $8,200 down, May 23rd, 2012, and just with the money that I saved from going employee to business owner in taxes, it paid for my down payment. That right there was mind blowing. It was, I don't remember learning that in school. If they did teach it in school, I, I must have been asleep or I missed it or, or I ditched class because I don't remember when they taught me anything like that in school, which is crazy because the reason why people are struggling in their finances today is because it's not taught in school. It should be one of the most important subjects on how to build your credit, how to open a bank account, how to save, how to invest, how to buy your first home, how to build long-term wealth. But system's kind of broken and it's not designed that way. So we gotta take it upon ourselves to educate ourselves, to nurture and our minds to you know invest into our self-development so that we can create long-term financial success. So. 
that's basically how it worked for me and how I was able to buy my property with just the taxes that I saved. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe, like, subscribe, like, and hit the little notification at the top so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys next time.